Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm Karen Fortune, and I am in student administration. On the screen, um, that's my manager's, Mrs. Anthony's number. But if you require anything regarding um, selection requirements or need any more information, you can just email um, on the email on the screen. Um, first of all, just give me one sec. Um, as you're all aware, the applications for 2018 is already open. It opened from the 1st of March and it will be closing the 31st of May. Please note, no late applications is received for selection purposes. So if your application isn't submitted online, that's the only way that we accept applications. Your application will not be considered. On the screen, you can also see the specific uh, amount of students that we select per specialization. I'll be focusing only on the School of Healthcare Sciences. For physiotherapy, we select 60 students. For occupational therapy, we select 45 students. For radiography, we select 40 students. For nursing, we select 50 to 60 students. And for, bi um, for didactics, we select 40 students. Um, and I said only on the School of Health Sciences, but I also just want to mention, because I think sports sciences might also be in this um, um, hall, and there we select 100 students. Um, First of all, the criteria that we use for selection, um, we we'll use, since you are already in grade 12, we'll be using your final grade 11 results, excluding life orientation. I know some universities do look at life orientation, but we don't look at life orientation at all. So please just take note of that. The sum of six subjects are taken into account for selection purposes. It includes English, mathematics, physical sciences, and for B, sports sciences, we also look at life sciences. The national, um, national benchmark test counts 40% of the selection, and then we also look at the value added form, which um, scores out of amount of 40. The national benchmark test comprises of three components. The AQL, uh, which is, um, it's three, the three components is AQL, which is academic literacy. The QL is quantitative literacy, and then you also have your mathematics component. Please note the last day that students need to write the national benchmark test for the fact of health sciences is the 7th of July. No late um, NBT results will be looked at. If you write later, you won't be able to go through the selection process. So please just take note of that. Uh, we also just use the first um, results of the national benchmark test. So if you write the first time and you don't perform well, we're not going to be looking at your second one if you choose to write the second one. The value added form comprises of three components that we look at. The first one is leadership. That would be your head boy, head girl, deputy head girl, head boy, and prefect. Then we also have sports participation. So depending on the level of sport that you're competing in, it could be on school level, regional level, uh, provincial level as well as national level. And then we have a cultural component which um, comprises of participation in cultural and sports club like chess club, um, choir, debating and so forth. And then your community service, it could be anywhere where you decide to volunteer. Please note, job shadowing is not volunteering. Um, and there, uh, because we also get a lot of questions regarding the community service, there's a maximum of 50, a minimum of 50 hours to a maximum of three hours. So you don't have to, um, if you score or if you work or volunteer less than the 30, then you won't be scored. Our selection takes place. Uh, we work out a merit point score using your grade 11 results and then your NBT results. Students are then ranked from the highest to the lowest. Students that is ranked between the specific amount selected for um, uh, 
we give offers to students depending on your results obviously and then students that just didn't meet, meet the cut they are then put on a waiting list and the waiting list can go up until the first week in february when lectures will be commencing please note we don't reconsider any student that was unsuccessful the first time when we did the selection and also another thing if a provisional offer was given to you and your APS score drops with more than two marks you would be forfeiting your place your provisional offer this is just an example okay I'll just move on because that's now for the other programs okay maybe I must just go back This is just an example on how we calculate the merit point score. If you are interested in sports sciences, we work out the merit point score, your grade 11 average. We take 60% of that. The NBT results score 60%, and then your value added um, questionnaires counts 30%, and then we work out, we then calculate your merit point score. Um, this is quite different compared to all the other um, healthcare sciences. For BRAT, physio, didactics, and OT, we then take your grade level results, 60% of that. NBT results, 40% of that. And then your um, value added form, 10% of that to work out your merit point score. And that's basically my story. I also just want to mention the, something that you have to note on that I now didn't include in the slides. Uh, most of the programs, it has to be first choices. The only programs that do look at second choices is didactics um, and B sports sciences. But however, B sports science give preference to students that has indicated that as a first option, but the rest of the programs, it needs to be a first option. If it's a second option, your application will not be considered, that you will be unsuccessful. If you already submitted applications, and for one or other reason, you put OT as a first choice and um, physio as a second choice, you're more than welcome to email us so that we can change your offers or your choices. Thank you. <laughs>